hello hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benny Dubai Anna we are on the beach right now with some umbrellas because it's impossible to stay out on the sunshine it's already 30 degrees and it's just 10 in the morning crazy crazy weather typical summer weather though out here but still it's really really hot and we are here today with these gorgeous views of Albir beach to let you know the latest news update from Spain Costa Blanca and obviously Benidorm town first of all let's talk about the situation in tourism obviously you all know that the summer season has officially started quite a while ago however only right now is when we see that all the families are going here on holidays especially those who had children because previously the school year was still here with us and people were not able to travel but from now on they actually do which is why even first thing in the morning you can see a lot of families with children of different ages coming down to the beach to enjoy and refresh themselves a little bit before the sunny and hot day of today so even if it's a work day there's a lot of people already on the streets from first in the morning the Levante beach the Poniente beach and Benidorm are really really crowded and it's difficult to find the first line spot by the beach however there is still plenty of space for everyone to enjoy this is happening also to all different touristic areas Albir, Altea, Calpe, San Juan, Campello, Alicante, Orihuela, Torre Vieja everywhere Valencia obviously Denia, Javia, Moraira, Teulada all these areas all the areas are getting busy with tourists because this is one of the peak moments of the summer the busiest the most expensive weeks are obviously July and first weeks of August and starting from then prices will start decreasing slowly but surely up until autumn will come and then it's going to be slightly cheaper to come here which is what a lot of people actually are doing because even now it's more than 30 degrees already it's suffocating so not everyone can deal with this type of extreme heat although the beach and the swimming pool helps a lot th this helps a lot to um fight the extreme temperatures however um if you want to explore if you want to go out if you want to enjoy it's either early early morning night time or wait for uh, normal temperatures to come back again to our region this is what the situation is right now all the hotels are busy all the bars all the restaurants cafeterias ice cream places everything is working full capacity and terraces sometimes don't even have enough space for everyone who wants to visit them to have some lovely drink or a snack the next news that i wanted to share with you all is about the water activities in Benidorm town First of all, what you need to know is Benidorm obviously is reinforcing and renewing each and every single year water activities on the beach in summertime. There are thousands of tourists each day arriving to uh, Benidorm to explore the beach, Levante, Poniente, Malpas, and they are willing to enjoy different types of activities on the beach to refresh themselves and obviously have some fun. And that get some nice memories so all the activities that can possibly exist on the Levante Beach and Poniente Beach are already officially working everything is on everything is working starting from this official beginning of the summer some of them are attention hydro pedals the water motorcycles I know they're called um, jet jet motorcycles I don't know water motorcycles you get what I mean right uh, there are also the giant banana you know the one that you can sit down on it and they're just bringing you fast through the waves then there's parasailing there's fly fish which is more or less the same but you don't see it you need to grab yourself like with hands uh, and it's slightly dangerous because if you if you take the hands away you'll just fly away which is why it's fly fish right but it's quite fun there's a cable ski which is very very nice it's like a paddle surf but on a cable you know you're like surfing with a cable so you're not falling down which is way easier just to uh, start the immersion into the um paddle surf world 
Then there's floating games as well, which are these ones right here. They're really, really nice and they are free of charge, which is great, great news. Obviously, these are not like inflated, you know, floating games, which is quite sad. I wish it would be. However, these are like platforms that don't sink and they also have some slides on them, you know, some interesting thingies for children and adults to enjoy apart from that there's snorkeling and obviously the rental of different boats and um water type of vehicles that you can potentially do on all the beach areas out here floating platforms there's going to be one on the levante beach in the middle of it and one on the poniente beach as well in the middle and uh these are free of charge all these activities will be here up until the end of the summer, up until autumn will hit us. So there's still plenty of time to enjoy them. If you would like us to try out some of these activities, let us know, please, here in the comment section. If you're curious to see how it looks like, what the overall experience is, what you do, you know, what the prices are maybe of different activities, let us know and we potentially can make a separate video about it. The general prices, apart from the platform, uh, that floating platform that is free of charge, the other prices are starting from 10, 15 euros uh, up until the most eccentric prices which is where for a family you can spend more than 100 euros but it depends on which kind of experience you would like to choose probably the most expensive ones are the jet ski um and like the the motor jets you know like the water motorcycles and the parasailing these are one of the more expensive ones here in benidorm town so this is what's happening on the beach obviously have way more activities also on the land you have different excursions you have our private tour which is benidorm by anna tours right here there is official website of ours and we have an exclusive night tour down benidorm which is just two hours walking tour at night time to enjoy the skyline get to know slightly more about benidorm some curiosities some typical things that a lot of people don't know about just yet and in general we have the tours all around costa blanca so if you even if you don't see the tour you would potentially like to do with us you can write us a message or an email you have all contact details there and we can create a personalized tour for just yourself and apart from that obviously there are a lot of viewpoints there are a lot of open air museums there are a lot of lovely villages to discover here around the area the chocolate museum in via Joyosa, alicante valencia denia so so many things here to explore uh, that sometimes there's even a lack of time to do everything that you need to do or want to do here on your holidays so everything is going full speed already into the summer the last news that I wanted to share with you all is a supposed to be new hotel, uh, which is not really new. They've just refurbished it completely uh, the last year. And this is the hotel that was one of the first ones who started here in Benidorm town. His name, its name, better to say, was Costa Blanca. Let us see if you can actually write here in the comments which hotel am I talking about, knowing that it's original name was Costa Blanca and it was on the Levante beach. Write your guesses here in the comments. And meanwhile, we'll continue. This hotel, some more clues, was Costa Blanca at first. It opened in 1952 and it was catering mostly towards national tours because this is when national tours were started here in Benidorm town. Afterwards, in 1979, it's when the hotel was taken by the hotel's group Melia and it started to be called Sol Costa Blanca. This is the hotel that is recommended for adults. This is a hotel that's closed in winter and open in summer. And we've seen it um, a lot of times while we were filming on the Levante Beach, different types of videos for you guys. And right now, this year, whenever the summer season hit, to our surprise, we've seen that the name has changed completely. And now this hotel on the first line of the Levante Beach in Benidorm is called Inside. This is how it looks like here on the screen, you can see it. And it still remains for adults, although by law you cannot say that it's for adults only. However, the truth is that only adults are coming to this hotel. It's 
fully renovated right now, which is great. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to be putting you here some pictures of the hotel that I found on their official website uh, so that you would be able to see how it looks like right now. And if you've been to Sol Costa Blanca before, you can actually compare how it looked like and what it converted itself right now after refurbishment. So right now, what they are saying is that this is a modern hotel for a lifestyle whatever it means I'm not sure but it's like a lifestyle modern hotel uh, and it has a lot of different new things it has a very very nice restaurant which is called the kitchen inside open by the way to outside guests as well apart from hotels guests obviously uh, and apart from that all the rooms are renovated all the interior side you've seen it already here on the pictures and they've increased their category and right now this hotel is a part of the selected group of Melia hotels so it's like a better category one and to be honest with you looking towards the pictures it actually looks really really nice not gonna lie let us know if you potentially might be staying in this hotel if you've stayed in Sol Costa Blanca in general and what your experiences were staying at this particular hotel here on the Levant Beach would you return or would you potentially book this hotel seeing what it converted itself into? And now let's talk about the weather. What is happening? What's going to be happening this next week uh, here in Spain in terms of weather and the temperatures? Because we have officially the first heat wave of the year out here. The weather is absolutely insane right now. It's sunny, nice and warm. However, it's really, really hot outside. Oh, it's already 32 degrees right now. And without a sun hat or sunglasses, anything, it's actually almost impossible. This is the first official heat wave of the summer. Heat waves in Spain here are considered those ones who are here for more than three days in a row. And this is what's happening right now. Uh, it might be raining just a couple of uh, days on the north parts of Spain. However, not more than that. Here it's not going to be raining at all. And these are the maximum clouds that you could potentially get here in the area during the next whole week as it is. The temperatures might reach around 44 degrees here in the country in general and will last like this the whole entire week, especially south parts of Spain in Cordoba, Granada, Sevilla, etc. And here it's going to be around 32 to 34 degrees in Benidorm. And this is the typical weather that we will be having throughout this whole entire week. And it's not going to be changing much, to be honest with you, in the next 7 to 10 days. If so, only increasing a tiny bit. The water temperature right now is 24.8 degrees. Tomorrow it's going to be around 25. And it's ideal for enjoying all the water sports and activities that this area has to offer thank you for accompanying us on today's latest news update from benidum area costa blanca in spain we wish you a lovely lovely day and we'll see each other tomorrow in a new video bye geez.